wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year's. From our family to y'all's. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for following along and check out this video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bodark Kikos. I'm Josh. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today, we are going to be giving our annual vaccines, booster shots. It's time to uh, gather the herd up and uh, give shots. We've got about 100 head of shots, or about 100 goats we're going to give shots to. So uh, what our shots consist of is the CL vaccine, pneumonia, and CD&T. We give these shots every single year, and uh, we gather them up right around a month before kidding so uh, we're about to give these uh, does a little bit of grain you can see joe's going out now he's going to catch them and uh, we're going to get these does in our working pens and we are going to uh, get all of our shots ready and i'll show you guys that process Once we get these does captured, the last, there's one, there's three waiting to go in. So once we get them all in there, we'll close the gate up behind them. We'll have them caught in our pens and our pens kind of circle our barn. Our working pens are right over here. I'll show you that setup, but we're trying to get the last three in there. So, uh, like I was telling you, we're about a month out from kidding. And um, you want to get these shots in these does so they can pass that immunity through the colostrum to the kids. The kids will get some of these uh, vaccines in their system. And uh, we're going to give these out. That's an annual shot that we give once a year. And um, right around a month before kidding. So it's the CL shot, the pneumonia, and the cd &T. I'm going to get all these shots out and show you our setup, show you how we do it and a way we can keep record of who got what. Uh, in the process of that, we'll be separate, separating uh, doe pins. Um, we'll be putting some older mature does on one side and younger does on the other side. All right, so uh, I wanted to show you guys what we got Joe for Christmas, and it's a calendar with our goats on it. So each month has pictures that uh, I've taken throughout the year. So uh, this is what we got Joe for Christmas from our family, personalized uh, calendar i thought it was a pretty neat concept joe really liked this uh let you guys let me know what you think about the calendar and a calendar with our goats on it so here is our setup uh joe got a, got us a table this year we got a table set up out here we have a pen and pad to document stuff fresh needles fresh uh syringes we have gloves we have everything we need in here if we need to give somebody we need to trim a hoof um we got an ear tagger we have some uh power punch if we have some that needs something copper bolus got our copper bolus gun copper boluses so this is a good time to take a good look at these does see what they look like see if they need anything extra um and we've got our setup so inside here here this is our working pen and what we're going to do is we're going to have a bucket for a certain shot we're giving three shots so cd and t pneumonia and cl we're going to draw up our shots and put about 10 in each bucket we'll work 10 head we'll get them out of here so you can see 
Uh, we've got all the goats captured back here. We've got them in different little sections, and we'll bring in about five or six at a time. So with doing that in, bringing in that many, we're not gonna run them through here and put them in this uh, chute. It's much easier for us to grab them and put our hands on them and I'll hold them. Joe gives the shot and it's easier to kick them out that way. So one of the questions uh, I might get is why do you vaccinate? Well, we don't have a closed herd. And a closed herd is a herd that they're born here, never left here, never brought anything in. We have goats brought in from all over. We've got them all over the United States. And a few years ago, we adopted some of what other farms, bigger farms are doing. They're doing the CL shot. So that's what we started doing. The pneumonia shot, <clears throat> we had a goat that got down, could not tell what was wrong with her, had no idea and before it was too late, it come, come to find out it was pneumonia. That's a silent killer in goats. You have no idea what's wrong with them. Just one day they're good, the next day they're gone. This pneumonia shot is a preventative. So we just pulled our uh, vaccines out of the refrigerator and here they are. You've got the CD&T, it's a brand new bottle. Then you have uh, the pneumonia shot. And then this is the CL shot. We're going ahead and drawing up these uh, needles and loading them and putting them in each bucket for each shot. So once we get this drawn up, we will put what medicine is in that bucket so we don't get them confused and we'll just go through a sequence of shots so here's a here's a good example of a young goat that's a first time mom she uh just not looking real good and it's this doe right here it's this doe right here this dark colored doe uh she just uh, is not looking like we like her to look so we're gonna give her a copper bolus and uh, some of this power punch stuff to help her out. Um, and as we're going through, you know, these 60 nannies that are bred, we're gonna put our eyes on all these and just see what their body condition is. Her body condition is not where we want it to be. So we're gonna give her a little something extra and uh, she's a first timer, so of course she'll go off to a pasture by herself, uh, not by herself, but in a pasture with first timers. Um, but she needs a little extra. She's heavy bred. Uh, she's gonna get her round of shots and then she's gonna get a little extra too. This is the, that's the power punch. And of course we got our copper bolus. We're going to catch her and uh, give her both of these real quick before she gets her shots. And then let's uh, pull down and check her eye too. Don't look good. Her eye's pink, but it's it's not as, as dark pink as we'd like, so she's fighting off something. Um, her her body condition is not not the best. That was the power punch, and now we're gonna give her a copper bolus. So you can see uh, this doe, she's a first timer. Um, she's not as large frame as the one she's in here with. I'll let you get a better look at her. She's just not as big, but I'll let Joe tell you kind of why we do what we're doing. We're doing it because we don't like the, her body condition is a little bit lacking 
And so we gave her a, a copper bolus that'll help her. And we gave her some power punch. It's got a long line of ingredients in it. Right here, yeah. And we like to give them, give them that, and then we're gonna separate them, of course, and put all these first timers by themselves so that they'll get adequate mineral and and hay, which will happen before the kids. Like you said, pulling these first timers, they're a little bit more timid. These bigger does can push them around. Putting them in the pasture over by themselves is gonna allow them to uh, get that nutrition that they need. They're not gonna be pushed around. Oh. I, I, I was pretty good, huh? So we're just checking her eyes too as we go through them. You can see her eyes good and pink. That's what you want. Uh, I'm gonna hold her while Joe gives the shots. You go around this side so you can get him doing it. This is a CDNT shot. It just goes in the neck. These other two shots are gonna go over the back. You're gonna notice Joe, he gives her a good rub to rub that medicine in. Sometimes with the CL shot right here, you wanna pinch that skin, pull it up, put it underneath the skin, not in the muscles. Administrate the shot and then rub. And spread it. You wanna make sure you get that rubbed in good because this medicine can knot up a little bit. And we have found out that if you rub this medicine in really good, it prevents that from knotting up. You don't want that to happen. This is an older doe. She's going out here in the main doe herd. She's got really good body condition. You can tell she's probably got twins in her. She's ready to kid out here in about a month. So our system is working pretty good on these does. You know, we're drawing up shots. We're running anywhere from five to seven here in here at a time. I'm grabbing them, as you can see, uh, Joe's giving the shots. We're rubbing them down. We're checking their eyes. So what we're doing is working It's taken us, you know, a little bit of trial and error to come up with this system But we found something that works for us uh, And just putting our hands on them uh, Holding them give them shots Sorting them out which way they need to go is what's working, but I wanted we're about I don't know Almost halfway done and I wanted to show you this dough. She's kitted once and she's gonna kid for us again But this is just a megawatt dough that we just really like her. She's tough as nails. She's this doe right here. Just look how wide she is in that front end. Look at that chest she's got on her. Big bone. We're down to our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jeez. We're down to our last eight head. It's been a been a full full few hours of working these goats, but we're glad to see the end of it. All right, guys, we're gonna close this video out. We worked uh, 60 nanny goats. We still have our dolings to go through, but today we're gonna close it on that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It took us about, what time is it? Uh, Almost four. Yeah. It took us about three hours to run through uh, 60 head. And you can see <clears throat> that we got a little system that works for us. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on the next one.